Hey, hello guys and welcome to another video where I am going to showcase um, my video games that I've collected over the last six, seven years, a bit more, I'd say. Um, well, this is the PS3, um, and yeah, I've got about, I'd say, 80 to 90 games, and as you can see, it is not there anymore, uh, and also there's a few boxes um, that were up there that I've uh, brought down. You guys can see them um yeah and i i'm going to just show the ps3 the ps4 i'm going to show that in a different video um mostly because um i think the video would be way too long otherwise and i don't want to make a video that's going to be 30 to 40 minutes long in any case yeah let's get into my ps3 collection and uh, there's actually a few of them uh especially in boxes but i'm going to go through the ones that are in the regular case because these are in any order so i haven't actually i haven't sort of selectively put them into alphabetical order or anything like that but yeah into it first of all uh sensei so i played this game quite a bit actually really enjoyed it so i was hoping that the ps4 would get one i don't think we did i don't think we did but we got a have to have a look. Um, a platinum, the resistance. Uh, pretty decent game. Uncharted. I finished the first game. I couldn't really get into this, this franchise. I think I've got all the games, but I, yeah, I couldn't really get into it. I know people love it, and I can see why people love it. I can see that. I can see that. That um, it's a good, it's just good games, but um, it's not my thing. It's not something that I, I want to get into. Um. Um, LA uh, game that I actually I was loving it but once again I didn't finish it anyway uh, this is a franchise that I want to get into but um, I just really haven't <laughs> yeah simply put I just haven't really I know it's got a huge following um, but yeah Naruto actually yep so I this is the out of the limited edition so which i'll show later the box uh, this game's a lot of fun i'm not sure how you it's, it's gaia i think that's how, that's, that's how you um, pronounce it but yeah a lot of fun i played number one and number two couldn't really get into number three and number four uh, king of fighters this is actually i'd say one of my favorite my favorite one of my favorites um sort of fighting game series because I play like you know the, the old ones like the 98 97 versions of the game so when I was little so I, obviously there's a bit of nostalgia there and I think what elevates this game to be a favorite so 3d games yep. Sorry, 3d dot games heroes uh, Tom Clancy's box too uh, yeah, wasn't into it. This is a game that I spent, I don't want to say all, like too many hours into it, but I had a lot of fun with it. Mag. So this game, I'm pretty sure that you could actually fight, there was something like 64 versus 64 combat. Yeah, you could pay, you could play, yeah, so up to, 256 players so i remember this game when it was it was announced that they were shutting the, the servers down actually i jumped into it i had a, a few matches but um yeah it was a lot of fun one thing that i'm i'm just incredibly bad at are, are um fps games on consoles i just i've never really um gotten used to a controller so it was a lot of fun but i just never really felt good at it well, Caliber number four, so also a lot of fun with that one. Far Cry 2, which I have in a limited edition, which I'll play later. Uh, Singularity. Uh, it was a bit scary at times. Uh, I remember, yeah. Yeah, so I remember it can be a bit scary at times. Um, probably why I couldn't finish it. <laughs> um, back then, I, was, I wasn't really huge into our games. Nowadays I am super into it, but back then when I was like, you know, like 17, 18, 
like you know years ago i wasn't really into it uh f1 2012 uh oops okay thank you a lot of fun yeah i'll recommend this little big planet i don't think that these games need an interaction i'm pretty sure a lot of this came with the ps3 and ps4 like as like a bundle so in the Kuni, i was actually always trying to find the limited edition of this game but it was always really really expensive and i think and i think the prices have gone up again uh, so I'm, but i'm pretty sure this one got remastered for the ps3 it's so ps4 and pc so always good that's phase two which I am planning to play again on PC. So PS1, uh, number one and number two on PC. Mortal Kombat, one of my favorite franchises in for like fighting games. So I love this these games. Um, yeah, like I'm a, I'm a huge fan of the MK sort of franchise. FIFA. Um, and. Yakuza Dead Souls, uh, I couldn't really play it too much. I did play it for like 40 minutes with that. Which is in really good condition actually. Devil My Cry HD, the uh, yeah, the classics collection. Which I'm, I think it's out on PC now and PS4. I, this game was actually a lot of fun. You can play with... Uh, yeah, one of your friends. I tried to play with my sister, but we were both really bad at once again FPS games with a with a controller. So we just didn't really get into it. Um Air Nolico. Also did try and play it, couldn't really get into it. I was getting a bit too dangerous. A bit too it'll follow me. Uh did for speed. Um, I'd say one of my favorite sort of racing, um, sort of racing, uh, sort of category, um, I think was it Carbon? I, I think Carbon was one of my favorite games, the series Carbon, uh, Call of Duty, which is one of my favorite games, uh, of the series, I'd say with World at War, so this is really good multiplayer, really, really good multiplayer. And I'm pretty sure that it is once again being relaunched for the PS4, maybe? I think so. Because back like making new games, we'll just remake and remake things. <laughs> Another copy of Army? I got two copies. Oh, cool. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, Lollipop Chainsaw. Actually, the, one of the games that I did pre-order um because it was just like kind of a lot of fun uh yeah pretty generic very sort of linear not a lot of things to do in in the world so it wasn't too fun for me um neptunia i've only ever finished like the first game and i haven't like i think i've got all of the all of the games um of the of the franchise on pc but yeah i only finished the first one out of like I don't know, like 10 of them. Um, As Rush Wrath, a lot of fun. It's got, I think, I remember the game had a lot of, um, like we have to press the controller at a certain time. So uh, a lot of that, which wasn't, wasn't, it wasn't, it was a bit, or I mean, personally, it takes you out of the experience. If you have to like check your buttons when you like you think that you're watching a cinematic but it's actually part of the game so yeah just something that i'm not super into i'm excited too uh, injustice uh i actually so uh, there's a website called uh zavi which is from the uk and they had a bundle that was the weirdest bundle if you got a leather jacket um, which was like 90 bucks. You got a copy of this for free. And you know, the first was just um, sort of announced. And I got a, le a leather jacket because I wanted the game. It was a good, it was a okay leather jacket. Like the quality wasn't the best. Because I'm pretty sure that it's it's gone now. Um, 
But yeah, so I got this with a leather jacket bundle from Zavi. A lot of fun. Um, so this is the Sengoku Bazara. I watched the anime. I think it's got like 12 episodes. Yeah. So a lot of fun. Naruto. Um, I personally prefer the Naruto's in on the PS2. Those were my favorite games of the, of the sort of Naruto franchise um, that were made into sort of video games. PS3 and PS4, I wasn't the biggest fan. I don't like the 3D combat. Personally, I prefer the, the 2D combat. That's my thing. Like 2D combat is what I enjoy the most. Um, Fallout 3. Actually, I played this game on PC it's a couple of years ago. Um, I finished it and all the DLCs. A lot of fun. Yeah, I would highly recommend it. Um, I did have to get a mod because I remember um, that I got to a, a level where it was it was before like the ant like the ant nest. Like you had to go on the ground. My game wouldn't stop crashing. So I had to get a mod and that fixed it. But yeah, a lot of fun. Um, Pacific Rift, pretty generic, nothing too impressive about that game. Maybe that's a special edition, which I'll show later. Ooh, Day Stars. Uh, yeah, this is actually, uh, is, uh, um, it, it is 3D, uh, but you know, you've got all the different characters of all the different franchises, so, which I've, I think I've seen most of these animes. The one that I haven't seen, and I, th I think people are gonna hate me, is that one Jojo? I tried to watch it, but couldn't get into it. I, 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 I can't. So that's Hawks number two. Uh, number one. So I've got uh, two and, and one. Or one and two. Resistance two. Ah, this is a red sort of face. Uh, yep. Metal Gear Solid four. Um, I play number five. And I played a uh, snake, a snake eater. So those are the ones that I really played uh, from sort of start to finish. Uh, Atelier of Verona. I I really love these games. I just absolutely hate the the fact that you have to um, play the game and there's like a timer. So for example, if I want to do some crafting and some leveling up, it's hard to do that because there's a timer. And if you fail to complete like the main mission. Within, within the given time, then you fail, and I hate that. You know, like, give me some free sort of time, so I can just do whatever I want. I'm famous. Oops. Uh, let's keep going. So, the classics. So, Eco and Shadow of the Colossus. I've got, I think I've got both on PS4, I'm pretty sure. El, Sh El Shaddai, I, I actually had never played it, but it looked cool. El, Sh El Shaddai? Blaze Blue, a lot of fun. Ooh, Marvel vs. Capcom 3, a really, really good game I would recommend. Um, if you are into fighting games, and if you are into fighting games, that game you would have played it anyways. Call of Duty. Near. this is getting a PS4 remake. Like, yes, dude. Is actually coming back on the PS4, PS5. No, it'll be PS4 most likely. So yeah, near uh, amazing game. Yeah, it's got the amazing game. Uh, it's quite heavy because like the manual is super t uh, like very sort of extensive. Bleach, yeah, a lot of fun. I I'm a huge fan of the series. It's probably one of my favorite series. Um, in terms of like the big three, you know, like One Piece and. Naruto, per se, um, back in the day, one of my favorites. Uh, even more so than One Piece. Yeah, so I, and I think it's coming back, yeah, Bleach is coming back on... Yeah, they're animating the last arc, I'm pretty sure. Wolfenstein. Uh, shock. A lot of fun. Red Dead Nation. Yeah, this is good, this is some good shit. I got this from Zavi as well, but it was very cheap too. Uh, and it's in really good condition because I got it brand new. Ah, oh, this one comes with a map. It's got like the map there. So I do apologize if I hit the, the microphone and that makes a very annoying noise. Yeah, 
video is already at 15 minutes and I haven't even shown the bigger one. Killzone 2, the platinum sort of case, fucking ugly. Uh, Batman. Actually, yeah, tell me which platinum case you hate the most. I think those, this one I hate the most with the PS1 that people got in, in the US, like the green label. Ooh, ooh, dude. Batman, a lot of fun. Heavenly Sword. Played it, never finished it. Oh. Uh, I, I, don't know. I got two copies of this apparently. Yeah, I do. I got two copies of this. Doo -doo -doo. Uh, Smackdown versus Raw. Uh, I used to like the PS2 games of the of this franchise is amazing. When I get into that franchise, play the PS2 games. Like my best memories. Undercover. Alrighty. Ghost Recon. Uh Future Soldier Eight. Never finished it. <laughs> that seems to be like the I think. I play a lot of games that I just don't finish them. Uh, actually, I don't remember playing this game. This game, I actually did finish it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yep. So Star uh, Star Wars for so um, Unleash, good game. I think there's a is that number two or is that coming out? I don't know. Uh, platinum. Let's first beat hot. Good. Uh, yep. Front the photo. Two two five on the PS3. I think I put this on the PS4 or on 360s. Uh, I like 40 copies of them. Naruto, uh, the Ultimate Ninja Storm. Like, I like Naruto, but it's definitely not my favorite. I'd say, not my favorite. Uh, amazing game, please play it. Amazing, please play it. Valkyrie uh, Chronicle, amazing game, amazing game. Just don't play the new ones. Ooh. No, no. Uh, Prince of Persia. I played the one on the GameCube back in the day, but yeah, I haven't really played any other games. I have it, but I haven't played it. Last Effect 2, a series that I want to play, but I don't know. Got a War, the collection, I believe. Yeah, five full games. Ooh, five full games. Ooh. I think I only played number two. Uh, oh, that's, that's a metal case. Oh, that's a poster. X-Men 3. This game, I actually had a lot of fun with it. So if you ever get a copy of it, I would recommend it. It's a pretty, very fun. Like, I have a lot of fun with it when I played it. Oh, that's all good. So that, that's Lord of the Rings War in the North. Which I think is really cheap on, like, on, P, on, the, um, on PC. Like, really cheap. Army of Two. Okay, so that's... Like the regular, like the the OG sort of um, case, cover case. Well, New Vegas, also a game that I played on PC. I finished everything in it, like in terms of like um, DLCs and everything like that, which are quite lengthy. Uh, yeah, a lot of fun. Definitely one of the, the the good games out there, like sort of must play games. I would highly, highly recommend it. Uh, must play. And Dragon Age version, so you get the two games there, one and two. No, the number one, and then you get the Awakening. I think DLC. One of my 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 best friends to this very day. He used to actually call him sick. You no, know, he back in high school, he's be like, "Oh, I'm sick," but he could play the game on PC. Yeah. Alrighty. That's that's like the those are the regular cases. So now let me go through some of the cases that are like metal cases or like the boxes, things like that. So Arkham, as you can see. Arkham City, metal case, um, Hillsong's, Hillsong 3, also a metal case, plastic, um, Tales of Cilia, um, this is the day one edition, I have this in the limited edition, so I'll show that in a second, uh, oh sorry, I do apologize actually, I just realized something, uh, sorry, there are three, and Final Fantasy 13, so, um, yeah, so those are the, just the regular cases. Now back to the, like, the special cases. So uh, you've got, uh, this one here. It was X. In Revolution. 
I've got everything down here, so because I haven't got enough space really to put everything. Gran Turismo uh, 5, the collectorization. It's got like a nice booklet with all the all the um, licensed cars that they got in the game. Uncharted 2. <laughs> this is the steel case, so that's three copies of this. Um, Dohawk. Looks pretty cute. Pretty shiny, shiny, shiny. Uh, this is actually a really fun game, Dante's Inferno. So, yeah, a lot of fun. Definitely would recommend. Um, I guess we got that, those there. Killer is Dead. This game is, I'd say that most people would review it negatively. It was okay when I played it. Um, yeah, I can see why people dislike it. But yeah, I got a copy of it for love and kill. Let me know what you think about it if you've played it before. Um, Dark Souls Limited Edition on the PS3. Um, I played this actually once again on PC last year. It was a lot of fun. Um, yeah, I'm a huge fan of the Dark Souls series, but I do still prefer Bloodborne. Like Bloodborne is hands down my, my favorite games from software, like the, from the company that makes the games. Got a copy of Tales of Grace. Uh, Atelier Alley, which I think it was remaked on PS4. Uh, that has the music disc and a poster that I haven't opened because I don't want to. Why would I? I got it. Um, this game, which. Badly, it's in really bad condition, and I actually I bought this game. I pre-ordered it. The Last of Us number one. I would recommend to everybody. I think number two has been delayed, badly because of the virus. Um, but yeah, so it's in pretty poor condition, and that's my bad. I'm pretty sure that I move houses. Um, I very stupidly put it on the bottom of the box, rushed, and trashed around. Uh, Yep, so Final Fantasy 13. Yep. So this is a nice box there. Um, Tekken Dark Tournament. Uh, very heavy, actually, very heavy for such a small box. And do like girls with it. I haven't got a gym. Uh, yep, so it's got a lot of discs and things like that. But yeah, uh, if you want me to sort of open one of these, if you want to see like the insides of it. Uh, you can tell me in the comments and I can make a video for you with what's in it and to like a more detailed in-depth video of, of a very specific game that you want to see more closely. Let me know. I'm happy to do that, do that for you. So yeah, Blaze Blue. Uh, I think I got this also on the PS, on the 360, the same copy just with the 360 labeled. Uh, yep. Yeah, so. Actually, in pretty bad condition. Pretty sad with that one. Um, so Far Cry, Far Cry 2. The big box thingy. Uh, okay, now we're getting into... So, okay, that is the, the one that I said I've got. So the statue is actually somewhere over there. Yeah, it's got like the Sasuke the statue and like a small art book with a Card, like a TCG card, like a trading card game that I'm pretty sure it never took off. Um, but yeah, so I got that. Mm. Oh, I got a few. Um, Agarest, uh, Generations of War Zero on the PS3. So this is a bit of like a uh, sort of waifu sort of thing. Uh, you have all these females that you can choose from. Um, I've got two copies of Final Fantasy X on the PS3. Why the fuck not? Um, come to this. And I think it's because I got one of this copy on, on, I got it for like five bucks, six bucks. I'm, I'm certain that I got it for like five, six bucks. I was like, why, why wouldn't you? Uh, maybe they, they'll got in price. Tell them. <laughs> one of them. Yes. Um, Bayonetta, so this is in pretty good condition, so I'm pretty happy with it. 
Uh, my phone went off. All the ladies you know, trying to get to me. But I'm showing you guys my connect my collection. Uh, okay, so this is one of my favorite games on the PS3. Uh, I'd say one of my favorite games. I mean, like my top 15 for sure. And yeah, this is Rock and God 3. So this is such a beautiful game. I love it. Um, played it. Fuck the final boss. Like the final, final boss. Fuck it. Fuck that boss. Okay. It is the most unorthodox fight. <laughs> Especially for like a final boss. But the music. The characters, the story is very convoluted at times because it kind of ties back to um, Near, the one that I showed before, which is gonna remake, remade, remake, yeah, remake on PS4. But yeah, it's a game that is hard to understand at times because it's kind of connected to other games. Um, but yeah, I would highly suggest that it is just an amazing game. Like, mwah. um. This is, uh, this is uh, number four. Yeah. It's got all the contents. It's got the little thing there. Yeah. Gonna open. So. Uh, yeah. I haven't played like, that one because I've only played that number one and two. So Kaliva um, 5, this is just, yes, it's got the music, this, the, oh, the, and the game with a, oh, what's that? Well, that's the soundtrack. Oh, that's the making, so that's a, like a DVD, how the game was made, and the artwork. Oh, yeah. I don't want to spend too much time on a single game. Okay, so now we get into the, uh, one of the big boxes, so, well, not too big. This is Tales of there we go, that's the front. Tales of Symphonia. Uh, Symphonia? Symphonia, yeah. Yeah, so this, I, I played this game back on the GameCube. I think I got a copy of it. I think I got a copy of it, maybe. We'll have to wait and see when we do the Nintendo one in a couple of weeks. But yeah, so it's it's just covered in dust, but the insides are pretty much all new. Like it's one of my beautiful possessions. Um I'm a huge fan of the series. I'm, I'm very excited for Tales of Arise, I think it's named. The new one that's coming out this year, hopefully. Uh, but yeah, I'm just really, really into that, that franchise. Um, then we have Final Fantasy X2. This is the Crystal Edition. Which I managed to, to snatch for a pretty good price, so happy with it. Just looking around, like... I think, and yeah, so those are, now we've got the, the two biggest boxes, yeah, so I'll show you. The Tales of Cilia, so I've got this edition, as well as the day one edition, but they usually are kept up there, up, up there, yep, there you go, yep. but yeah, so I'm a huge fan of the series, like I've said many times before. Um, yeah, trying to keep it as nice as possible. Um, it's got a bit of dust on it. But yeah, uh, I play this game from start to finish. And I absolutely love it. Last but not least, Tales of Celia 2. So Tales of Celia 2, also um, one of my precious possessions. I really, really love it. And I will love you, and I will love you if you also happen to love that series. But yeah, so thank you so much for watching. Once again, let me know in the comment section if you want me to get a game, if you think that I should get a game. Uh, I know last time a couple of people told me to get, well, my, my friend really told me to get uh, the Sudoken series. Uh, I, I think number two goes up. Like number two is the one that's very expensive. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll try and get a copy of maybe number four, number three, which um, luckily they they tend to sell for 
a lot less. 30, 40 bucks. I'll try and get a copy of those uh, if I can't. Um, but yeah, that has been my PS3 collection. And once again, let me let me know if you think that I should get any other games um, for my PS3 or any other games, as a matter of fact. And I do apologize if, if the video is a bit too long. Um, but yeah, I will make the PS4. Uh, I'm, I want to say mid next week. Um, and that'll be something I want to say. I reckon it'll be a bit longer because PS4, I have a lot more of bigger boxes. I think I've got like six or seven of them, big boxes, uh, at least six or seven. Yeah, I'm looking around the room, I'm like, yeah, there's like three, four there, that PS3, that PS4, uh, which are quite big, um, and I can talk about it all day. But thank you so much for watching, and I wish you guys a beautiful, beautiful um, weekend. Yeah. Bye-bye.